refuse have once again been overcome by those of good and cleanliness. For, For I, I am a gentleman, man, friend, friend of, of the, the good, foe of, of evil. evil. Pajama man. man! Gee, that was an exciting episode. Pajama Man is the greatest. Oh well, time to turn off the TV. Stay tuned for an important news flash. Pajama Man fans everywhere can meet Pajama Man in person. Today only, Pajama Man will be signing autographs at a shopping mall near you. Wow! I can go meet Pajama Man and get his autograph. Oh boy! <laughs> We can meet Pajama Man and get his autograph. Mom, the TV's at Pajama Man's at the mall and he's signing autographs so we can go meet him. If you can drive, can we go? Can we go? Mom? Okay, calm down, Sam. I guess I have a few things I could get at the mall. Why don't you go up to your room and pick out something for your hero to sign? I'll make up my shopping list. Oh, boy! Thanks, Mom. I know an autograph is just somebody writing their name. But if I'm going to meet Pajama Man, I've got to have just the right thing for him to sign. Ooh, and I know just what that is. Ugh. Ugh. Oops, I think I knocked over some stuff. I should probably put some of this stuff away. Maybe later. I want Pajama Man to sign my best comic book! My rare first issue of Pajama Man! Which is... Not here? Oh, no! My mint condition extra collectible Pajama Man issue number one is gone! My favorite comic book is missing! <laughs> There it goes! Oh no! Something or someone pulled it down into that big pile of junk! Mm -hmm. I don't know what nefarious forces are at work here, but I gotta get my comic book back. This is a job for... Pajama Sam! Pajama Sam! Pajama Sam! All I need is my cape. Oh boy. All right, guys, so that is the beginning of Pajama Sam 4, Life is Rough When You Lose Your Stuff. Uh, this is still the very last Pajama Sam game. Uh, this was released in 2003. Uh, they haven't made any more Pajama Sam games since, unfortunately. I actually do like the Pajama Sam series. I mean, some people may look at it as kind of like very childish, but um, I think it's fun. I mean, you know, I, I can play this as an adult and I can still enjoy it because it's... Uh, it's very, <laughs> it's got a very 90s type of aesthetic. I know this game is, you know, it's actually 2000s, but you know, it started in the 90s. It's got a very 90s aesthetic, and it's just a fun game, very lighthearted. Um, you know, it doesn't take itself seriously. I really like that. You know, sometimes we play games that are way too, you know, serious. So it's nice to play games that are sometimes not so serious. Like this one, the Pajama Sam series. Okay, so yeah, it's a point-and-click adventure game. Um, let's see. This is where I'll keep my pajama man. Okay, that's my inventory, I guess. And this is the menu. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see. Really, it doesn't change much from the very first pajama sim to this one, actually. It's using all the same engine. Yeah. But, I mean, why, why fix what's not broken, you know? They didn't have to be 3D or anything crazy like that. It didn't have to change it up or anything. It just... All the Pajama Sam games are like this. The same kind of aesthetic and tone and humor. They didn't need to just change that because it was uh, just good enough as it is. So. Let's see what can find his cape, I guess. Here it goes. Yay! I found my cape! <sighs> Pajama Sam! Now to go after my comic book. Be wary, evil doers and stealers of stuff. Here comes Pajama Sam! It falls into his own mess. There it is, life is rough when you lose your stuff. It's an Atari game, I didn't know this was Atari. So somehow... 
somehow his mess in his bedroom is so big that it's his own world. <laughs> Which is, you know, it's in line with all the other pajamas. Like, I played Pajama Sam game, you know, was it two or three, where he goes up into the clouds and then has to, like, has his own, like, weather station and stuff up there. And, you know, the ones where he goes into, like, shrunks and shrinks into, like, a tiny size and it goes into, like, a food world. Like, <laughs> all these ideas are pretty, <laughs> pretty crazy. But, yeah, it's a, it's a child's... It's meant to appeal to children, I get that, but it's also pretty cool. Hello, little stock. Ideas. My name's Sam. Hi, Sam. You sound sad. Is everything okay? Well, now that you mention it, no. What's wrong? Is it something I could help you with? It's a sad situation. I suppose the best way to explain it is this. A sock out on his own is what like the heck he's singing a song? Show. Cause okay, I got some like mud Disney on me here. I can't get in my drawer okay. A sock out on his own is just one out of a pair I miss my matching sock so bad it fills me with despair They say there's no place for me amongst the clean because I'm dirty I know none of them can see inside Having a little dirt on you is not such a bad thing, is it? Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris but what good is a spotless heart when we are a pair apart? We're all pairs. We're all pairs. We'll always be together. The world is fine. The world is fine. The sun will shine forever in the sky. You're all alone. It's strange to see. We guess you must deserve to be. To be part of a pair. Together more than home. They say there's no place for me who wants to clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we're a pair? Now do you understand my position? That's fine. I think so. You're sad because you can't be together with the other blue sock, because you're dirty and the other one's clean. Right. Now you're starting to think like a sock. We clothes get very sad when we're not in pairs. Hats don't come in pairs. That's why you never see a happy hat. Oh, <laughs> well, why what? don't you come along with me? Maybe I can help get you and the other sock back together. Do you really mean that? Pajama Sam is on the job. I'm missing something I care about very much, too. My Pajama Man comic book. I saw a comic book. An old half-eaten cheese sandwich came by here just a little bit ago carrying a comic. He said somebody named Dr. Grime was signing autographs at the Grubby Corners Mall, and he wanted this Dr. Grime to sign it. Oh my gosh! I have to find it! If Dr. Grime touches it, it'll be filthy forever! Come on, little sock! I have to find the Grubby Corners Mall! Okay, yeah, that was that was funny. I did not expect a sock to do like a dance and song routine. That's pretty funny. Um, that's what I like about this game. I mean, it really doesn't take itself seriously. It's like I think only other point-click adventure game that's kind of this this kind of like outlandish is like Sam and Max. I think that's about it um, in terms of being like this kind of have this kind of comedic tone to it. Uh, yeah, Pajama Sam is kind of on its own level. <laughs> this is Hello. the other parrot. Hi, my name is Sam. Sam, will you be my friend? It's very lonely being the only sock without a companion. Sure, little sock. I'll be your friend. I'm going to try to find a way to get your matching sock clean so that you can get back together. Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. All in a day's work for a superhero. Isn't this the other parasock? I brought a friend to see you. Hi. It's you. I thought I'd never see you again. I miss you plenty. How I wish I could be up there in the drawer with you. 
But I can't. I'm still all dirty. Sam, could you please take care of my friend until we can be reunited? Sure. Don't worry. We'll get you clean somehow. And then you can be with your friend again. Alright, um... Hey! One of my Pajama Man trading cards. I'd better pick that up. Milkman. Okay. Another card! Dr. Grime. Oldest and dirtiest enemy. First appear issue no secret origin of Pajama- Oh, Pajama Man. So yeah, that's his, his idol. Yeah, he's in a real doctor. I can kind of figure that one out. <laughs> this is my collection of Pajama Man trading cards. Okay, I'm not going to press the print because that's actually going to kind of freeze the game. So, But I'm betting that actually like printed stuff, you know, on a real computer back then when this was first released. Those are some big raisins. You sure are heavy. Hmm? If these heavy raisins were on the eating end, I'll bet that whatever was on the other end of the spoon would go flying. Putting the raisins on the eating end would make the other end of the spoon flip up. If something were on the other end, I'll bet it would go flying. Okay. Last time I learned an important lesson. I'll never eat anything bigger than my head. Oh, that's because of the food one. <laughs> last last game was about the food. Um, okay. This is another trading card. Hey, look! Another trading card! Dust Devil. Gee, someone forgot to eat the last of their cereal. The more weight on one end, the higher the other end goes. Yes, I know that. The more weight on one end, the higher the other end goes. The more weight... Okay, maybe put that one down. Whoa! Hey! Let's do this. Whoa! I'm all the way up here now. Hmm. Hey, there's a yo-yo. I could use a new yo-yo. Hmm, I think it's sort of stuck. Maybe I can yank it free. Oops. Well, at least I got half a yo-yo. Too bad it's not the half that spins. Oh well, I might as well save the string. It could come in handy at any time. I never know when I might be faced with the string emergency. Yeah, that's true. Might be coming handy. That's cheese. There are so many peanuts in that bag. I bet nobody would notice if one was missing. Like a peanut. Peanut, the misunderstood nut. Those fireflies sure are pretty. They glow like nightlight. Look at all the drawers in this dresser. It's a long way up to the top. Guess I'd better start climbing. Oh. Can we climb on some of these? Hope mom doesn't catch me climbing on the furniture. Oh, uh, it's a big dresser. This, <laughs> this is actually an insane dresser. I don't know how many people would have need this many drawers. Yay! Okay. Look at all the drawers in this. Yay! Hmm? Look at all the drawers in this dresser. It's a long way up to the top. Guess I'd better start climbing. I'm a climbing fool! Try again. 
Bring on the next drawer. I made it all the way to the top. That fishnet would be useful for catching any sort of critter smaller than me. Take it. Nice. Ooh, a Pajama Man trading card. Thunder, lightning's partner in crime. Okay, bicycle's louder than most motorcycles. That fire truck's a lot cooler than my dad's brown car. That's a big fire truck. And shiny, too. Hey, there's a sponge. You sure look squishy. That's because I'm a sponge. That's what I thought. You're a bright boy. I'm Pajama Sam. And I'm a sponge. I'm a sponge. I know. Gosh. You're smart. Hmm. What can I do here? Wait, can I use my Let's use that net I got. Net. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the There's a trading card! Cardboard woman. Okay. Um, hmm. Nope. See what I can do here, I guess. That sparkly clean jar would be good for keeping things in. It's got a lid and everything. I agree. Take that and then... Hmm. So that was up there. Okay, let me check over here. Whoa. Hello, I'm Sam. Why, what a nice young man you are. I'm Grandma Sweater. I'm almost through with this copy of Knitting Weekly if you want to borrow it. No, thank you. I don't knit. You don't knit? Oh, that's a shame. In the good old days, everyone liked to knit. Hello. 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 My name's Sam. What are your names? Hello. 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 Can't you say anything else? Hello. 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 You know, I think there's something wrong with those clothes. Huh. My name's Sam. What are your names? Hello. 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 Okay. Uh, what should we do here? All right. It's over here. It's the back. Go over here. Wow! Cool! Is that your crane? Well, I get to drive it, but they won't let me take it home at night. Aww. Yeah, the boss has a policy about not letting us borrow anything that can be used to knock down his house. What's this crane used for? Well, it's supposed to be used for clearing that junk over there. 
but one of the control levers got busted and lost. I could move the crane this way, and this way. But without the other lever, I can't pick up that stuff, and it's just piling up. I'll keep my eyes peeled for something we can use as a lever. Thanks a bunch. The sooner I get the crane fixed, the sooner I can go on my coffee break. Hmm. So it's a wrench that's operating a crane. Hey, that lake looks like a big washing machine. I wonder if it's always this empty. This pile of junk is blocking all that sudsy water. If I cleared a path, maybe the water would go into that lake. Yeah, but I need to fix that crane, I guess. What we have is a lever. There's nothing here I can use as a lever, right? Nope. Hmm. So I can go back for now. I can't go that way. That's a big cliff. Oh. Um. <laughs> guess I have to go back this way then. Whoops. I'm going to down here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's see if we go some other way. Rubby corners. Excuse me, how late is the mall open today? My comic book is in there and I have to get it back. This mall? Always open. 24 hours a day. That's very convenient. Yes, but rules strictly enforced. No shirt, no shoes, no socks, no service. Got it? No shirt? Yes, no shirt. You got no shirt, therefore, no service. <laughs> you won't be going to the mall till you get a shirt. Shirt. Sure. I'm wearing pajamas. Is that close enough? The rules are very specific. Shirt required. Shirt. <clears throat> Not so fast, kid. Do you know the rules? What rules? Ignorance of the rules is no excuse. I'm going to tell you the rules now. We have a strict dress code. No shirt, no shoes, no socks, no service. Are you hip to that? Hip? Hmm, so pajamas don't count, I guess. It says, Grubby Corners Mall. My comic book should be somewhere inside. Need a shirt and shoes. Whoa. Blasted dust bunnies won't hold still long enough for me to catch them. Hmm. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Pajama mobile. Okay. What are those big fuzzy things? Hello. Oh, howdy there. My name's Sam. They call me the happy farmer. Nice day, isn't it? I guess so. It's as nice as any other. And that's pretty darn nice in my book. Some days it rains. Them days is nice too. I have to put on my wrapper then, but rain is nice. Rain's good for my crop. What sort of crops do you grow? Spaghetti and breadsticks. I don't have much space, you see, but that's nice too. It doesn't take as long to plow the field. But lately I switched to raising these bunnies. They're so cute. What kind of bunnies are they? Well, them dust bunnies. They're dust fun bunnies. to raise, and they raise me a nice profit. I'm supposed to be able to shave them once a week and sell their wool. That's if I can ever catch them. It would be nice to catch them. <laughs> so it's like sheep, basically. Just to catch them to shave their wool and make Here, profit. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Those bunnies are too timid to come near me. Hmm. I thought making yarn was going to be hard, but it looks easy. 
wool goes in one end and yarn comes out the other. It's as easy as falling off a log. More fun, too. I thought making yarn was going to be hard, but it looks easy. Wool goes in one end and yarn comes out the other. It's as easy as falling off a log. More fun, too. Ooh, a pajama man trading card. Serious puller. That's part of the yarn making machine. The farmer needs that. Hmm. How much I can do here, huh? Hmm. Well, I guess that's not going to work. <laughs> it's too small. Yeah. Yeah! At last, a new bunny partner. Much obliged, Sam. And look at here. All the other bunnies are following. Wow, I must have lassoed the main bunny. Yep, you done did good. Now let's get these bunnies ready for shaving. Alright. It's gonna shave them now, huh? Just bunny yarn for you. Thought you might like some yarn for helping me out with the bunnies. Cool, cause I got myself some yarn. Maybe that can be made to. Uh, maybe that can be used to make a shirt, which I can then use to go into that that mole. Okay, let's go over here. Hey! Wow! An ice cube. What a weird swamp. It looks like someone spilled their soda pop here. Maybe I can wait across. Ew! It's all gooey and gucky. This spilled soda pop is a real mess. It's too yucky for me to wade through. Hmm. Yeah, soda pop for sure. There's a trading card! Dr. Scott Brothers. Yeah, let me see. I can't them. cross this yucky swamp on foot. I need a boat. Oh, okay. I need a boat. Um, don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Yarn, string, this, uh, hmm. Back where I came from. Alright, um, well anyways, I think I'll just stop here for now, uh, this is another great, fun Pajama Sam game. So, Pajama Sam 4, life's rough when you lose your stuff. Every Pajama Sam game seems to have its own theme, uh, but they're all really, like, nice, comedic, light-hearted, point-and-click adventure games, so, yeah, if you enjoy the other Pajama Sam games, you'll enjoy this one. They're, they all use the exact same engine, so, even though this is the latest one, it's pretty much similar gameplay to the first one, so. That's it guys, another Pajama Sam game. Pajama Sam 4. Thanks for watching.